In this video, we will see how to draw rectangle using PictoBlock interface. So we'll go to the online scenario and start writing a script in PictoBlock interface. So we'll start writing a script for rectangle in PictoBlock interface. So the first thing what we have to do is we have to go to event and drag and drop a flag. Why we use a flag to execute a program. Then what we have to do? Then we have to require a pen, correct? Pen up. Okay, so click on plus sign. That is extension. And search for a pen. Okay, here we have a pen. And then we require pen up. Correct? Then erase all. Right? After erase all, we need y axis and x axis. Correct? So we go into motions. And go to x and y axis 0 so that the auto b is in the center. Then point in 90 direction. Okay. Point in 90 direction. Then what we have to do? Then we require pen down. We need to draw something. You know what we are supposed to draw? We are supposed to draw rectangle. So go to pen and say pen down okay then then we have to create a block how we have done actually for square same thing we have to do okay so go to my blocks make a block and today we can type a rectangle okay and say okay Then I need to draw a square. So how many sides does the square have? A square have four sides wherein the opposite sides are equal and all the angles are same which is 90 degrees. So the opposite sides are equal. So I go to motion and I take move. Okay. And I take move. Move how many steps? Say suppose I say 100 steps. Okay, then turn, correct? So turn 90 degrees. So 15 is there, no? So I am putting 90 degrees. Then, then after 90 degrees, can I use move again? Yes, I have to use move. How many steps? Can I use 100? No, I can't use 100. Why? All the size of the squares are? not equal only the opposite size are equal so say suppose i use over here 25 okay then again i have to turn now to 90 degrees correct 90 degrees then again i have to move how many 100 again i have to move 100 steps then again 90 degrees correct 90 degrees then again move how many times how many steps 100 no 25 steps and then again I have to turn 90 degrees so how many sides became check the sides opposite sides are equal one side 100 then second side 100 look at the cursor then 25 one side 25 other side how many angles we have for the rectangle we have four angles one two three four play and see i can see a rectangle on in the stage why because the first script is not linked to the second script so what we have to do we have to go to blocks and drag rectangle and connected to the first script so that the first script gets connected to the second script and run it can you see the rectangle yes correct can you see rectangle yes okay so this is the way you left to write the script say suppose i want one more rectangle I want two more rectangles in the same stage. I have one rectangle, so I want one more. 
or I want two more. How do I do it? Okay, first thing I take a pen up, place it below rectangle, then go to x and y axis. Okay, go to x and y axis. So if I put 0 and 0 y axis, what will happen? Rectangle will one more rectangle will be drawn on the same rectangle. Okay, okay. so it will it will override. So what I have to do? I have to change the x axis and y axis. Say suppose I say x axis 40 and a y axis I say again 40. Okay, and then what I have to do? Then I have to take a pen and say pen down no because pen up is there so. I use a pen down command and then I run the program and see no only one rectangle is there why again I want to complete the script the script is incomplete the script is not connected to the second script so I go to my blocks and I connect it with this rectangle and I run the program can you see two rectangles Yes. See, suppose I want one more rectangle. What I do? Again, I say pen up motions. Go to x and y axis. See, suppose I want now 80. I say x, y axis, x axis 80. And y axis again, I say... 80 okay then what I do I go to pen and I say pen down and then I have to complete the script no so for that I have to bring the block okay rectangle so that this script connects to this script the second script and run the program can you see yes can you see Perfect. We have three rectangles. Now I want to change the size or I want to change the position of the rectangle. Okay. To vertical. How do I do? Okay. Listen carefully students. How I do it? I want to change the, I want to rotate the rectangle. So here we have move 100 steps. So I make it 25 steps. 90 degrees and then I make it 100 again 90 degrees again 25 again 90 again 100 and now run the program and see can you see how the rectangles change the position what I did now Instead of 100 steps, I made it 25 and 25. Opposite sides are equal. This opposite and this side and this side is equal. This side and this side is equal. Okay. So like this, you can change it. Now I want to bring it in one line. So how do I do? I want to bring it in one line. How do I do? Here we have x axis 40. Y axis 40. So it went up. Okay. Y axis, this is Y axis, X axis is horizontal, Y axis is vertical. So I want to bring it down. So I'll say minus 10. Let's see if it is coming and say run the program. No, it came too much. So I say 0. Let's see what happens if I say 0, Y axis, yes, perfect. And similarly, Go to x axis 0, 80 and y axis 0 and see. Correct students? Then say suppose I want to change the color of this rectangle. How do I change the color? We have seen yesterday. Set pen color where say suppose I want it here and I want to change the color to green I'll say okay 
fine and then I want to change color over here too I want to make it red okay let's see if the color is changing yes can you see students so this is the way you are left to write the script you are left to practice rectangle horizontal and vertical how I have explained to you understood students thank you students stay home stay safe